Hey everyone, welcome back. We are here with another day of science and I'm really excited to get to talk to you about this unit because like I said yesterday, I haven't gotten to teach it yet. So I'm excited to see what it is and what we get to do with it and to learn more about it with you. So yesterday you did some brainstorming about what the human immune system is and you completed a brainstorming map that led you on a more directed brainstorming thought process. Hopefully it looks something like mine. You used the words human, immune, and system to guide your thinking and to get your creative juices flowing to, again, direct your thinking, get you wondering and curious about what this unit could be. Okay. And that's our job. That's what I wanted the activity to do for you yesterday. I say that because I really wanted to see what this unit is about, but I want to be able to use your prior knowledge to help guide the unit itself. Okay, so today we're going to begin learning about the human immune system and what it can do for you. So some of the first ways I can think of to explain to you what the human immune system does is to explain that it is the way your body takes care of itself. Okay, and it's your body's natural defense system against germs. Okay. It's the way of the body's, excuse me, it's the body's way of keeping you healthy all on its own. And it does that in a variety of ways, such as filtering or washing away germs or irritants rather things that irritate your body that shouldn't be there. Okay. One thing that comes to mind also is in your bloodstream, your body has things called white blood cells. Those blood cells are created to attack any infections that you may have. And that is something that you were born with. We are all born with our immune systems. Some people are born with great immune systems. Some people are not. And that's why people have um, autoimmune diseases. They have, they might be born with a disease that means their body doesn't do a very good job taking care of itself. And that's not great. And so they need extra help to keep themselves healthy the way that you or I might be able to naturally on our own without any extra help. Okay. So like I said, today we're going to begin learning about the human immune system, what it can do for us. And as I said, the first things that I think of when I think of human immune system is the way our body filters or washes those irritants away from our bodies, even just getting it away from us. Um, not even necessarily out of our bodies, but even just away from our bodies. And today what I want you to do before I go even further into that is I want you to try to name some of those ways that our body might protect us. Now, I've given you some examples or some ideas or ways you could begin thinking by giving you the words filtering or washing. So think about a way your body, not you go physically wash your body, but something that happens to your body that it might wash itself or it might filter out some germs or um, things from our surroundings that might try to get into your body that shouldn't be there. Okay. So again, today you are coming up with some ideas on your own to try to once again, do some more of that brainstorming, 
but I cannot wait to see what you come up with. And then tomorrow, once again, we continue to dive in together as a group. And I will give you some more directed thinking tomorrow. Okay? Can't wait to talk to you about that then. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.